During the conclave, all cardinal electors and also the next pope will live in the Casa Santa Marta. In fact, staying here is not just part of a tradition, it's also part of the Vatican's apostolic law. But it wasn't always like this. Years ago, cardinal electors stayed along the hallways of the apostolic palace during the conclave. The setting wasn't very comfortable, especially for older cardinals. And so, John Paul II called for the construction of the Casa Santa Marta to accommodate cardinals and also future guests. The building was constructed in 1996 and it's located near St. Peter's Basilica. Usually, cardinals simply walk to the Sistine Chapel before the conclave or they can take a shuttle. The five-story building has 106 units, 22 single rooms and one apartment that stands out from the rest. The Pope himself, after being elected, will stay in that unit for a few weeks since the papal apartments are still sealed. The apartment is a bit bigger than the other units. It's usually reserved for special guests. For example, Patriarch Bartholomew stayed there. The Casa Santa Marta includes a chapel that's dedicated to the Holy Spirit. It's here that cardinals pray as they begin the conclave and vote in the most important election of their lives. And also, cardinals who wish to go to confession can do so inside the building, where regular clergy will be available to administer confession in different languages.